Meanwhile, two staff members of the United States Embassy in Nigeria who were kidnapped on in Anambra on Tuesday have been rescued by security forces. The rescue workers were part of the group that was attacked in local government by unknown gunmen. Two embassy workers were killed in the attack, including four policemen and a driver who were burnt in the vehicle. Spokesperson for Anambra State Police Command, Tochuku Ikena, said the joint security force had confirmed the rescue in a statement. You will recall that uh, on the 17th of uh, this month, May 2023, we had a press briefing here uh, at the police command headquarters on the ambush that, that happened uh, with uh, some people from the United States Consulate Lagos and uh, the action that the security forces in the states, the army, the navy, the police, and the DSS have taken. In that briefing, we told you that as at that day, we had lost uh, seven out of the nine men who were in two vehicles and who uh, were on a convoy to Osamala to assess the environmental impact uh, erosion in that particular place. And we made a promise that the security agencies, the army, the navy, the police, the DSS was working around the clock to make sure that the two missing people were rescued alive. I am happy to announce to you this morning that uh, at the wee hours of today, uh, the joint security forces comprising of the army, the navy, the police, and the DSS rescued the two missing people, they are here. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.